Hey, yeah, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization VI. We're playing as Jojo of Portugal here, trying to pursue a science and or diplomatic victory. we got to keep our options flexible, even here in the late game. Flexibility is still proven to be key. We have Eureka Plastics, which is going to be really nice. We have tons of oil if we have plastic. That's for sure. I don't remember. I just realized I'm betting. Yeah, our, um, and our coal mines and our oil mines are generating some CO2. In terms of overall pollution, we're not bad. We're definitely not the biggest polluters. Although, that might be indicative of uh, overall productivity base. I'll think, I think it mostly has to do with the fact that the, the amount of coal mines and things, or maybe they're using power, that's possible. You don't like that I'm not being very productive compared to you. You want some of my, Oh no, you're offering some votes. And money, and this and this, for night... You know what? Sure. At this point, I'm actually not really concerned about giving people military resources. Maybe America a little bit more, because we are just bordering. But other than that, I don't think I really care too, too much. That's right, we got the tutus. Porto, can you purchase the dam? Wait, because... Because I built the dam. No, did we not? Maybe we didn't unlock the hydroelectric dam yet. I thought we did. Didn't we do that last episode? Hydroelectric dam. Requires dam. I got a damn dam. Oh, it belongs to Pharaoh. Oh, which is building the dam. Okay, no, never mind. My, my bad. My bad. Everything's good. All right. Um, Gown, what do you want? Well, you're pretty housing stuck. I think it might be worthwhile. Well, tell you what, I'll, the sewer gives us more housing, but the seaport will give us some housing as well, as well as just generally being good. Uh, do I want to spend a moment? Sure. We're going to do that, and then we'll get you to build a sewer next. So you've hooked up the oil. Flight, or advanced flight, rather, is coming in soon. Not really much for this worker to do. Can you even build something here? Oh, you know what needs some help? Citavela over here. In fact, I should probably buy a builder or two just for that area. Because otherwise we're pretty we're pretty busy. We're and most of the builders are running low on charges now. Because we we had a few going around, but they're burning through for, pretty fast. Class struggle I would like to pre-research, but not actually complete. So that hopefully we can get our third factory and get a boost over there for efficiency. Although I shouldn't delay going down that tree too much. Um you know, in, in pursuit of random efficiency, because it could come bite us in the ass. I guess I do have a few builders. Maybe we are going to be okay. I'm running down here, we can get some more silver hooked up. Uh, some trading posts have been created. That's good. Some, some trade routes have expired. We'll have to reset them, which is fine. Um, I think that's it for fisheries, unless I want to buy some tiles over here. So, in fact, I think we're going to move Liang. Should I just move you? I don't know where is a good spot. You know, it's like, well, let's count C tiles. Funky Town could... Uh, Funky Town already had it. They've got, they've got a few more tiles now. Um, Laria doesn't have that many tiles, but they're really high quality and will want to be worked. I think that's where I'm going to move Liang. Right over here. And I guess we'll keep you parked in this neighborhood and just waiting. I mean, you'll have to wait a while, but that's going to be okay. Sure, you can have that. Um, you're going to be quite a bit for three oil. I guess people are pretty desperate for it. You like my culture? That's good. Unless it's like unique, it's like sarcastic. Oh, we really appreciate the unique culture that you guys are developing. Ugh. I don't. I hate that we're not we're not actually working Chocolate Island. But the fact of the matter is, I think there's not any point in us building more cities at this point. Sure. I think the payoff period is going to be too long. Oh my! Airports, fighters, bombers. Yeah, we're just researching it so we can get to computers, which is fine. We can put a couple more turns into class struggle. Although, at this point, you know what? We can just go ahead and. Uh, oh yeah, nuclear program will give us quite a bit more tech actually. Amenities are pretty poor here. Oh, um, no, I'm going to purchase a workshop, and I, I assume I can't purchase a factory. What I should do is I should purchase it next turn, maybe, for the boost. Or how long would it take us to build the factory? Eight turns, not bad. Actually, that'll work out okay. We'll get that, because that should give us the boost an appropriate amount of time. Um, I suppose you're going to be moving over here to L-Town to help with the fisheries. Trade route has come up in tomorrow. And yeah, money, and the food and production from Munster is just crazy. 
feels like that's the, still the thing to do. You're going to chill here, Mr. Builder, until we can get Liang established. And that might be our first broadcast center. Um, actually, our co oop. Um, Amber for spices. Mon yeah, yeah. And I get three oil. Yeah, people are desperate for the oil. If we could poke up more oil right now, we could make we could make a ton of money. Not that our money is in bad shape. Um, so culture-wise, actually, we're the only people breaking 200 culture. I'm, I clearly have not been pursuing culture. In fact, we have very little in terms of theater squares. But I'm thinking our trade routes must be responsible for bringing in quite a bit. Yeah, it, it breaks it down. It's per city. But a lot of that tr culture from these cities is probably from their trade routes. Funky Town's completed its seaport. Oh, um, we have another spot, which is probably worth jumping on right now. Let's go ahead and do that. There's a lot of stuff we can build there, including new districts, which would be nice, but let's go ahead and do that. Alright, builders, you're just waiting over here. Yes, you can absolutely farm by Lamego. Still have some uh, religious rap battles going on. Well, that wasn't a rap battle. Uh, no, I guess it was, because something must have been killed to do the AoE. You want three oil? Wow! Yeah, people are desperate for this oil. Great Zimbabwe has been built. Eiffel Tower has been built. Okay. Which is fine. I mean, I, again, it would have been nice to have. A lot of the wonders would have been nice to have. But I don't think they're critical for us to pursue exactly. Augsburg is still chilling, just happy. Um, the aid request, we don't have to rush for. In fact, what's interesting, if CO2 emissions lower your score, but maybe zero is the floor, maybe we can just do a big cash donation right at the end, if we decide we want to do that. Could build a settler over here, could build a builder over here, although your land's pretty good. Your housing's fine now, we don't have to rush the sewer. Although, I was going to say, with the housing is fine, so we don't really need a neighborhood. On the other hand, the neighborhood would let us build the food market. Wait a minute. No, I did build the neighborhood. Oh, wait, you can build more neighborhoods. Never mind. You can keep stacking them, so that's definitely not what we're looking for. Um, I guess you just build the seaport, because it's there and it's still good for us. And in fact, um, if we keep building these seaports, eventually we'll get to the point where we can run the pro seaport policy, which is nice. What I might do is consider where we might want to place the neighborhood now. I think I will purchase and build it on this hill. It's not going to get flooded that way. And then we don't accidentally improve a tile that is just going to be replaced with the neighborhood later on. Now, okay, yes, I, I'm pretty sure we can fishery these tiles because they're not actually the Great Wonder tile. They're adjacent to the Great Wonder, which is why they have the science, but we should be able to build on top of it. I think. I think. Uh, let's see, yes, computers. This will be really good. I mean, the extra spy is really nice. The drone, we would... Theoretically, may not need, actually, but it's all about the flood barriers. In fact, as soon as the computer's finished, we probably will start making flood barriers everywhere. We can't buy them, unfortunately. Speaking of buying, do I want to buy the research lab? I don't think so. And why not, though? Amenities are bad, but there might be other ways to do it. There's also the seaport... No, I'll buy the research lab. I suppose I could buy both, really. Sure. And then where does that leave us? That leaves us to, we need to start a new, um, a new district. It's not bad for an industrial zone. Commercial, entertainment thing, I mean, it would still help the amenities in the city, but we're not going to get adjacency. Although most of these have various adjacencies that are available. Unless I go ahead and just plop down another theater square. No, I think I'm in industrial zone. Done. Okay. Trade route from here. Well, this one is better. Why did I think it was 1.5 for a bit? Or maybe it was for a sec. Maybe something else finished. Um, you know, fine trade route. Good money. You're going to wait there. You're going to wait here until Liang. Although next turn Liang will be there and we can go fisherizing everything. Trading post created. Uh, you're buying a little bit of oil. And then we're doing some luxuries trading, which sounds fine. Hydroelectric Dam's going to come up over here. It'll be our first source of power in the game. Um, so yeah, when this factory... Oh, yeah, it's going to finish on its own. I think that'll give us the Eureka. Although, okay. So we're going <clears> to... <throat> excuse me. Well, settler. I mean, I knew eventually people would settle over here. But it's fine. Um... We're probably going to want to finish this factory first before we go and flood barrier. In fact, maybe... 
Maybe you're aware that's got a fairly short build time. Maybe we won't do it. I don't know. Um, we aren't going to be owning tanks in long, for a long time, so unlocking wind farms may actually be quite nice. So the solar ones, we're not... Well, two broadcast centers could happen. Does anything lead to anything that we want to accelerate to? Well, I mean... Hold on. We don't even have... Okay. We're going to do this. Flight into plastics. We'll reveal over here. It's going to say, hey, this is our Mars mission stuff. But wait, we don't even have the um, the, the basic uh, launch pad stuff, do we? I don't think so. The little rocketry centers. Trigger over here. Um, yeah, that seems better. I don't know. Okay. Change production. Flood barriers. 12 turns, so yes, it's quite a long one, so let's get the flood... Wait, what? Is there really no floodable tiles in this city? Maybe if it owned these. That's... Hold on. That's quite interesting. Um, Is there a lens? No, that's not the lens. For flood tiles? I guess the settler lens... Okay, so that's floodable, but so is that... Now, I can't, as far as I can tell, can't build a flood barrier there. If I uh, purchase this tile, presumably, flood barrier is now in. Now, as far as I can tell, I think the build time for these, I don't think is fixed. I think it's based on the number of tiles, right? Base cost 80 per... I don't know. Maybe... 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 Maybe it is fixed. I'm like, can we... Because it's going to look like it builds there, but eventually we'll get this tile, and then will it expand? I actually never noticed that. We're going to finish this factory for sure. You're seven turns away. I guess we'll go and start the flood barrier. Um, six turns away. Yeah, okay. Faro, we're going to let you finish that. The spy's really not a priority. It's not very far away. Oh, but you don't have any floodable tiles either. Okay, that's fine. Neither do you, weirdly. Neither do you. Okay. I mean, some of them may have already been flooded. Uh, yes, we're going to do that. You're one turn away, so just finish what you're doing. Eight turns away, and you don't need a flood barrier. Um, eight for... Yeah, no, let's flood barrier up over there. There's a lot of tiles we need to save. You're going to finish in one turn. You're going to finish in one turn. You're going to finish in two turns. That's You're already flood burying. Okay, I think that's it. I think we've we've done the loop. We have fewer cities than I thought. Man, well, maybe just went fast to go through them all. Porto's flood barrier is going to take quite long. I don't know if there's a trade route coming out of Porto. Could maybe use a, a bit of a production boost. Governor Liang's established. Right, right, right. Storms are happening. Uh, what is this? Oh, 20 populations in Evora. Hey, hey. Nice. Okay. Flood barrier is a go. Um, what did you finish? Oh, the harbor. Yes. Well, Tim, tell you what. I'm only going to purchase the lighthouse, giving us an extra trade out. And then Porto, I'll purchase a trader over here. You do have... Yes, you do have a harbor, so you should be able to send trade routes out, international trade routes. Um, let me sit on the money for a sec here. Housing's fine. Da, 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 da. Theater square. I think we'll just start building the shipyard. That's okay. Build your seaport. And, I mean, at some point we won't need more science, but, oh, yeah, that's really good. Uh, Rainforest, Lumber Mill, yeah, sure, that's fine. Plus four agency, more fisheries over here. I don't think there's any tiles to swap. What I could do, well, there's internal tiles. What I could do is buy some tiles over here so that we could drop some fisheries. Well, that's an actual fishing boat. So Actually, that was less important because the idea here is buy the tiles I want to drop some fisheries on. So then I can move Liang. I'm going to spend a ton of money. Just get the fisheries down. The fishing boats are more powerful, but then, yeah, the sooner we can move Liang, the more convenient it might be. Everyone wants my oil. And yeah, we're working our way towards plastics, and we'll have lots of oil. We can sell a lot of it. We can also start using it for some of our own ships as well. The children of the nuclear age, I think. Well, we okay, we can get the double tech boost 
nuclear espionage, but there are very few times actually where we're getting the tech boosts. We're on Science Foundation, although we're not actually getting the counters for it. I mean, unless it produces zero, but I don't think that's the case. Clearly, this mod doesn't always calculate everything all the time, but it's still it's still a help. It might mean sometimes we can't trust the numbers. Uh, this is up to plus 40, but it's still not worth it. Do we want to change out of conscription? Military research is now up to 8 and will continue to grow. I think we will swap out there instead of conscription. Um, I don't think we're doing any upgrades right now. Yes, I think this is okay. That's okay. We're not doing wonder building. Mostly we're just enjoying huge amounts of money in production from our policies. Um, tourism from Great Works. I mean, obviously the space, right? Integrated space cell is something we're going to want. We could pre-research here. I think I'll just run conservation. At least mobilization. Oh yeah, class struggle, which would be really nice. But conservation leads to something, so we clearly need that. I can claim a great person. It's just appeal to one. I, we're going to pass. It's kind of annoying we've passed on two of these in a row, but we will be in a really good position to get the ones that help with the space projects. We're going to... Oh, yes, build a flood barrier. Thank you. Uh, build a flood barrier. Thank you. We've got three more envoys. District that the building provide plus one great persons of their type. I mean, that's... Yeah, but it's not... It's writers, artists, music... Oh, oh, okay, no, no, okay. So, I need great person points. Yeah, yeah. Um, this actually won't give us the suzerainship, but it'll knock Teddy out of it, which might put us in a better position overall. And then when we get another envoy, which we'll get three of them when conservation finishes, we'll uh, we'll take over Baloney Town. Boom. And boom for the fisheries. Spy over here has nothing to do right now. Um, what we might do, we could consider slamming Augsburg. Maybe we could even get the flood barriers up in time. I'm going to move you. Uh, or maybe if you need to, but we're unlikely to be able to take more text boosts. Yeah, okay, me, um, hang on a sec, filter was, okay, trader out of Porto, yeah, we're looking for a place that gives us a bunch of production which you've got. Okay, spies back over here, I'm going to move you to a new city, I'm going to remove the campus filter, and send you to Augsburg. Possible, uh, things zero, because, ah, uh, right, of course, because we have an alliance with you, never mind. Do we have a cultural alliance with him? Yes, that's why it's not flipping. Okay, we'll just use another one when it uh, when it changes. Okay. Um, well then. It'd be nice if this filter just showed you places where um, you actually could tech boost. But the answer is, like, no. I think we're just too far ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, the other thing we could do is actually we could start doing spy shit on city-states. You know what? Let's start doing spy shit on city-states. We don't usually do that because usually we are so busy tech boosting or stealing great works. But we're kind of not in a position for either. Oh, there's an industry opportunity. Versus gained. Trade our capacity increase, which we used. We've got a little bit of money. We've got the, um, uh, the faith. We're going to wait on you. Yeah, hopefully we can get some great people, uh, some great scientists, and useful great engineers. We skipped two in a row. But as soon as someone takes Alba, we can probably go and immediately pick up the next engineer. Because we should have lots of points banked, plus we've got some faith. I mean, we don't have very high faith landing, generation. It's a good landing. If you use the right, airplane. That's a regular flight, which isn't going to give us anything we terribly care about right now. Come over here. This is an ocean tile, so it can't actually be fisheried. Um, do I want to buy a few more? Ocean. These are coast. So let's do those. Um, and that doesn't need to be fisheried. Oh, this could be, though. And this is ocean. Yeah. All right. There we go. Although, are we going to have enough charges? I guess I could always, especially with Liang there, I could buy another builder over there. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, sure. I mean, maybe this isn't the best city for um, for the gold generation, but it's gonna be okay. Yeah, let me purchase a, another builder here immediately. Doesn't have the extra charges from civil service or serfdom or public works or whatever the heck um, they're called. Yeah, I guess it'd be public works at this point, um, but that's okay. 
Thanks, Basils. Corporation Opportunity, I know. Flood Barriers are building. I think we did shape a few turns off Porto with that trade route. <gasps> Violent Storm. Okay. Reinforce, regrown. I feel like the borders... Oh, just changed because we finished our um, our thing? Are we still at zero? Where's our world climate? We still have not increased our world climate. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Climate change points were one of two um, from global temperature. So the global temperature has gone up over here. Yeah, I don't... I still don't know if there's a place that gives you a break point for, like, when the next one will go. See, real levels rise. Okay, so even here... It's actually, we have to get all the way here before we actually get um, the tile loss. So we're in pretty good pace right now. I think it's a lower pollution game, and I think we are... Also, we're getting the dams a little fast. I think... 1615 on deity. I suspect we'd often see more flooding. Um, it might have to do with the map style here. There might be less coal, less mining, less need for violent power generation. I'm not sure. You don't have a food market yet, although your amenities suck. Oh, I'm going to purchase the arena. There you go. So now you're at zero amenities, which is good. Now build the food market. Oh, hold on. Government plaza. Charges can provide, uh, yeah, builders can tr boost district projects, which is handy. Great work slots, war department. I guess we'll Royal Society. District projects should include space projects, right? So this is not building districts. This is running projects in districts, like the space program, I think. Not sure. Your amenities are the poop. Go ahead and build yourself a zoo. Your amenities are also a poop, and you've already got some entertainment stuff. I mean... Huh. What are we going to do with you? We could start shipbuilding. Oh, um, building a spy. You actually just built a spy, but build more spies. And yet, I think what we might do is we might focus on city-states. So we've got one going to Baloney. Let's send one over to Taruga. And we'll just start doing more... Spy shenanigans. There's nothing exciting to do over here. We'll travel to another city. We'll send you to Fez. And we'll do some lumber milling in Cidade Vela. You're going to give me a great work for some random resources. Sure, that I'm not actually spending at any point. How are we doing military? We still have the highest military score, which is shocking to me. We're closing in on 500 science. A couple more have broken the 400 science, but we still got a pretty good lead. Again, they might have a few techs already in the bank ahead of us, but that should be okay. Indonesia declared war on America. Indonesia has like shit going on, right? Like they don't have that much military and they've had crap science and culture for a long time. Oh, I think it's a... I think it's a joint war. Uh, where's Teddy in here? Squint mode, Teddy. It's probably a joint war with Rajam. Again, I think we, we saw that before and I went through the entire, the exact same thought process of, wait, that seems dumb. Oh wait, okay, maybe that makes sense. Getting an aerodrome would be good, but I think we, we're clearly hurting on amenities. We're gonna stick one somewhere on this island so they could benefit each other a little bit. Um, you, you desperately need some housing. So I'll purchase a granary because it's dirt cheap. Now you can grow. Let's go for seaport. It will give you some various resources, including some housing. That'll be okay. Two foreign cities have gained independence. Oni. And I think Haolu flipped to Australia is what happened. Okay. Violent storms, war declarations, city-state war declarations. What is this? Grievances? Oh, because you declared on a friend, so I have grievances against you. That's fine. We need amenities. We got fires, housing. Okay. But these days, oh, you can build the fishery. And actually, I just realized our timer is pretty good for a cut over here. I'm happy that we're getting our flood barriers up before there was any flooding. Um, maybe we could have pulled off a good one in Augsburg. You're producing tanks. Uh, you know, maybe if we had settled here, but there was no guarantee. Is this such a good tile a city location? I'm betting we'll get it, though, once uh, our alliance with Freddy expires. We'll just make a non-cultural alliance with him once they all come come due, and then Augsburg will probably flip to us. The only question is, will Freddy have built um, 
flood barriers before then. I don't know. Because it's all they're all like level one flooding tiles too, so it's gonna happen really fast. Uh, we do really want to get power in a variety of places relatively soon so that we can get full value out of our buildings. Um, I don't remember, is there, there's like a policy or something that makes it so that anywhere with foo gets power? Is it, it's like a, is it the government, the like, the techie government one? I feel like there's some sort of vibe for that. Um, because we're actually going to be pretty hard up on placement for solar and wind farms until we get the sea-based ones. But it's okay, it's not like we need power, we're just not getting full value out of um, our higher tech buildings until we've got power everywhere. So, it will be something that's nice to get at some point. Anyway, with all that, we're going to put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you again next time. Bye-bye.